Here we go, let's talk about frontside flips. Uh, it's a very simple trick when you break it down to its two parts. It's a kick flip and it's a frontside 180. So you should be able to do both of those before you start trying this one. And I have made a video about kick flips. I haven't made a frontside 180 video yet, but I will make a short one because it's a simple trick too. So for this one, we want to think about different types of frontside flips, sort of like the kick flip video that I did, right? There's going to be the type of frontside flip where you rotate a part of the way and then you pivot the rest of the way. And that's what I'm going to urge you guys to learn first. And then there's the other way where you're going to flip the majority of the way in the air. You might pivot just a tiny bit when you get to the ground. You might flip the entire 180 degree rotation in the air. And that one comes with a little more experience and some muscle memory. So, and then there's, a, there's actually a third one, which it's kind of like a hard flip. It's still caught 90 degrees around and flipped the rest of the way, but you're doing more of a hard flip motion with your feet than a kick flip and a front side 180. And that's kind of like what you see Andrew Reynolds and some other people that are just like front side flip technicians do. Um, I've always done it kind of the Luan Oliveira way. In the beginning, I did the full pivot way. Me and my friends called it the East Coast way because if you go back and look at skate videos from the 90s and from the early aughts, you're going to see people on the East Coast doing pivoted frontside flips a lot. So that was just the thing that we called it, me and my friends at Hollywood High. Shout out to the Hollywood High crew. So start off, you're going to put your feet in a kickflip position. And when you're first doing these, I'm going to recommend that you basically just do a kickflip and try to land on the front wheels after you've caught it and then pivot the rest of the way around. And then what you're going to do from there is you're going to start to try to rotate more and more before you hit the ground until eventually you're at like you're doing a kickflip 90 and then you're catching landing on your wheels and rotating the rest of the way. Then you can start to try to make the whole rotation happen in the air. So for our purposes, we're going to start off kickflip position, right? We are going to rotate our shoulders backside. So I'm goofy footed, front side is this way, back side is this way. So I'm going to wind up in this direction, the backside direction. Once I've wound there, my feet are in the kickflip position, I'm going to start to rotate back in the front side direction. And I'm going to time this so that when I'm rotating my shoulders back towards the board, I'm going to be crouching. So this is just a quick aside. I noticed that in the examples that I used, it doesn't actually look like I'm rotating my shoulders in the opposite direction. And that just comes from experience. So in the beginning, you're going to want to rotate in the opposite direction as much as possible to wind up because your body's not used to producing that 180 degree rotation. For me, it's a little bit different. I've been skating for 24 years and my body's accustomed to creating that turn. So although it doesn't look like I'm winding up that much, in the beginning, I definitely had to, and you definitely should be winding up as much as possible until it's not necessary. When I do, for example, a backside 360, I'm still winding up and it looks over-exaggerated. But just for this one, I don't have to do it as much. Take my word for it. You'll notice the difference when you try. And I want to be fully crouched, and I want my shoulders to be parallel with the board at the same time, so that once I'm there, I pop, and I start the kick flip. Now I'm going to allow the board to flip, and I'm going to catch it. And wherever I catch it, whether that be at 90 degrees or whether that even be 45 degrees, once I catch the board, I want my shoulders to still be rotating. So if I've kick flipped high enough, if I'm further along in my kick flip and front side flip process, I'm going to be able to do the rest of the rotation in the air. If I can't do that yet, for all you beginners that don't have the experience in muscle memory, I'm going to catch still wherever I'm at, whether it be 45 degrees, 60 degrees, or even the 90 degrees. And then I'm going to focus on letting my front wheels touch the ground first. So if I'm goofy footed, that means the wheels under my right foot. If I'm regular footed, that means the wheels under my left foot. And once those wheels contact the ground, it's important that I then rotate the rest of the way. So you have to give it a little extra push to get that 180 degrees. That's fine. If it happens naturally because you created enough force when you wound and wound back, 
that's also fine. Once once you've rotated the rest of the way, you're going to allow your back wheels to hit the ground. And when your back wheels hit the ground, especially for these 180 tricks, there's a lot of impact and it's going in multiple directions as opposed to just the impact of gravity pushing you back down. So you're going to need to bend your knees to absorb the impact. Okay, once you've started to do these with the pivot, you just have to rep them out. You have to do so many of these that you become comfortable with flipping and rotating more and more in the air. And in the beginning, it's gonna seem like it'll never happen, but the more front side flips you do, the more you'll start to rotate in the air. Confidence is everything. Muscle memory, those two together, that's what's gonna get you to doing good flip tricks, good front side flips especially. To be honest with you guys, I don't do too many of these anymore. It used to be one of my favorite tricks uh, but when I had my knee surgery, my meniscectomy, they clipped away the majority of the meniscus in my right knee. For some reason, these don't go very easily for me. I still have days where I can do them, but they don't come that easily. So that's how you do a frontside flip. Uh, let me know which other beginner tricks you guys would like me to make videos on. Also, feel free to join my Patreon. I am trying to get as many people as possible to start helping out there so I can make more videos more consistently. And yeah, if you guys are interested in doing like Zoom, Tele lessons with me, you can also get that through Patreon. Thanks guys, enjoy skateboarding.